is space supposed to be separated from politics at all? Yeah, I mean, you know, Ed's, Ed's whole journey was predicated by the Senator Kennedy at the time wanting to win the election for president. And so Ed was kind of like a political pawn to be that first black astronaut that would help him get the black vote. After he won the election, you know, people were still saying, hey, you're gonna give me my black astronaut? Where's my black astronaut? And then, you know, Kennedy did follow his, his promise and, and stayed with it, but when he was assassinated in 1963, you know, it was like Yeager went to Johnson and said, look, we don't need this in anymore in the program. And, uh, you know, and Ed basically re retired and was kind of kicked out, kind of pushed out of being, you know, the first black astronaut. And so I think more people need to know about this history, this journey, but Ed set the foundation for me, for Guy Bluford, for Mae Jemison, for all these people. And the movie also talks about how Nichelle Nichols came in, you know, post Apollo, you know, starting out with the space shuttle to give NASA a chance to own up to bringing in diverse people. So that 1978 class with, you know, three uh, black astronauts or candidates, uh, Guy Bluford, Fred Gregory, and uh, Ron McNair, were all because of the work of, you know, from science fiction going to science fact with Nichelle Nichols going out and canvassing the country to find, you know, put that message out that NASA's looking for women and minorities to be part of the, the core, not just the right stuff, which were white male test pilots with crew cuts. Yeah, the space race is going to uh, premiere on National Geographic Channel February the 12th. And then on the 13th, it'll be on Hulu and Disney+. Plus. It's a great journey, um, and it tells you what's possible when people believe in you and you keep the legacy going strong. Be flying in space. I'm smitten to tear up there doing all these wonderful things. Black history is American history.